Welcome back everyone. It's time for lesson 19, all about dividing a fraction by a whole number and a whole number by a fraction. Okay, well let's get right into it. So we are gonna be doing two different types of problems today. We're gonna to start with a fraction divided by a whole number. Then we're gonna move on to a whole number divided by a fraction. Okay, so when we have a fraction and we're dividing it up into groups, I'm starting with a really easy example to, to draw so we can kind of learn that way first. Um, if we just have a fraction divided by two, we can draw that fraction, okay, like a half, okay, and then we can divide it up into two groups. Okay, so let me show you in the picture. If I do that, I'm going to also break up that side. And so I just want to know one group. So just this one group up here, what fraction does that look like? Okay, good. It's one fourth. Okay, and just think about it like this. If I had half of a cookie, let's say, and I want to split it between two people, it makes sense that one person would get this part, one person would get this part. Okay, then my other type of problem is my whole number divided by a fraction. And I started with a really easy example for this type too. Um, if I had, let's say, two cookies, okay, and I want to divide them up into halves, I can cut each of those into halves. I'm actually not going to shade anything because I just want to count how many halves I ended up with. So I have one, two, three, four. Okay, so my answer is four. All right, now that I did a quick overview of the two types of problems we'll be doing, now let's dig into some more of the fractions divided by whole number problems. So in this one, we're gonna do one third divided by two. Okay, so we want to take the fraction one third I want to show you that we can also use fraction strips for these. Sometimes those are easier than drawing circles. And so I'm going to take one third. So now we're going to split them up into that third up into two pieces. And so if we do that here, then we also want to split these other thirds that we didn't shade up into two pieces so that they're all equal sizes. Okay, so now I'm gonna shade in just one of the groups. Okay, when we're dividing, I always think about how we wanna know what's in just one group. So I have one out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is one sixth. Hey, good job. Now I wanted to show you another strategy. I know that drawing a picture is super helpful. Sometimes that might be your favorite way of uh, finding the answer, but there's also another way that you're gonna possibly like. So it is called keep, change, flip. Okay, so this strategy works like you keep the first amount, so one third is going to stay one third. You change the operation symbol from division to multiply, and you flip the second amount. So this two whole can also be written as two over one. And to flip that, we could make it look like one half. Then it's really pretty easy because when you multiply two fractions, you just multiply the numerators. So one times one is one. You multiply the denominators, three times two is six. And we got the same answer, yay! Okay, now I've got one for you to try out. We have one-fourth divided by three. Okay, so picture, you know, if you've got one-fourth of a pan of brownies left over and you're trying to divide it between three people. 
okay? So hopefully you're starting to realize, as I'm drawing this, I'll kind of talk about it a little bit. Um, hopefully you're starting to realize that when you take a fraction and you split it up into groups, you get an even smaller fraction, okay? So I'll draw one fourth. Okay, and then we're going to split it up into three groups. And then I'm just going to continue splitting all of the fourths up into three groups. And so now, see if you can figure out what one person will get. What fraction is that? Okay, great job. It is one twelfth. And what I want you to do next is see if you can figure out the keep, change, flip strategy for this problem. Okay, pause the video and see if you can do that strategy. Okay, so hopefully you remembered that keep means to keep the fraction, the first fraction the same. Change means to change it to multiply. Flip is talking about flipping the last or the second amount. So three, we're going to think about it as three over one, and we're going to flip it to look like one third. Okay, then it's just a matter of multiplying the numerators and then multiplying the denominators. So one times one is one. Four times three is twelve. Okay, awesome. I love that you can choose. You, If you like visuals, you can try just drawing a picture of it like that. If you like this strategy of keep, change, flip, you can do that. All right, now let's switch over to practicing more of the whole number divided by a fraction. And these are some of my favorite ones because I like to bring back pizza for these. Since when I see a three whole, I think of three whole pizzas. And if I want to divide them into fourths, that is so easy to do with a picture because all I have to do is cut them all up into fourths. So here we go. Fourths, fourths, and fourths. And then I just ask myself, how many fourths did I create? So I just count them all up. Here's one, two, three, four, eight, 12. So my answer is 12. Okay, and I know at first that seems a little bit weird that our answer is a bigger whole number, but just think about it this way. If I start with a whole number and I break it up into lots of fourths, I'm gonna end up with a bigger number because I have a lot of fourths here. Okay, now let's try, just to see if it works on uh, the opposite, let's try the keep change flip method just to see if this works on any problem. Keep, change, flip. Okay, and we're gonna try it out. So in this case, we would keep the three, okay? we would change the operation and we're going to flip the one fourth to four over one. Okay. And really, if we want to, we could just get rid of these ones because this is really just three times four, which equals 12. Okay. We got the same answer. That's awesome. All right. For our last problem, I want to challenge you to pause the video and draw your own pizzas for two whole divided by one eighth. So think about how many pizzas are you going to draw? Okay, awesome. You'll draw two. And then what are you going to cut them up into? Okay, great. Eighths. So eight slices per pizza. So have fun drawing your own pizzas. Maybe add toppings that you like. Kind of like I add pepperonis because that's what I like. And then cut them up. See if you can find the answer.
All right, how do your pizzas look? Here's mine, and I cut them up into eighths. So if I count up all the slices, I get my answer. So pictures are really super easy with these kind of problems. So I know that I have 16 slices, 16 groups of one eighth. Okay, and then I'm gonna try the keep change flip just to see if it matches. If you'd like, you can pause the video and try this before I do to see if we match. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the two. I'm going to change the operation and I'm going to flip the eight, one eighth to eight over one, which we know is really just eight. So I could just do that. Okay, and then two times eight equals 16. Yay, I got the same answer. Great job, and I'll see you next week.